Returning to 2008, the beginning of the golden age of Chinese language films, he is determined to create an era that belongs to him. Suspense, plot, costume, modern, there's nothing he's not good at. Explosion, live action, madness, his movies are always full of topics. Not only that, he is also the pioneer of Chinese science fiction films, and with his own efforts, he has brought Chinese science fiction films to the world.class level. His name is Zhang Hao, and later people called him the best Chinese language film director of the 21st century. This is an era full of opportunities, welcome to my film era. Keywords of the novel My movie era no pop-ups, my movie era complete txt collection download, my movie era latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Due to poor filming, I was transported by aliens. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Due to poor filming, I was transported by aliens, Dd Dd. The star's energy is about to run out, please earthlings decide to cross the time node as soon as possible. Zhang Hao touched his head and felt dizzy. He was in a blue halo, a bit confused. The energy of perseverance is about to run out, please earthlings decide to cross the time node as soon as possible, continued a machine named AI-550W that looks like Morse in Wandering Earth. Wait, why are you speaking Chinese? Zhang Hao finally figured out the situation, realizing that he was caught and executed by aliens because his filming of The Three-Body Problem was too bad. After Zhang Hao argued logically, the aliens planned to give themselves a chance to send themselves back to a certain point in their life, on the condition that they could not make a bad movie. Humph. 550W snorted coldly, how could earth bugs know the greatness of our civilization? Our advanced technology is beyond your imagination. I don't want to travel, can I go back? Zhang Hao still thought, and tonight he made an appointment with a beautiful female celebrity to discuss the script. 550W has transformed into a virtual image, which, in the words of Earth, is a very beautiful, charming, and perfect human image. 55W said that its virtual image will change according to people's thoughts, which means that at this moment, its image is exactly from Zhang Hao's imagination. Zhang Hao sat slumped in a blue halo, and a 550W virtual image came up to him and said, You can't go back. Why? Zhang Hao asked in confusion. Because of your foolishness, the Earth and the entire solar system have been two-dot-dimensional by the Great Lord, so you can't go back. 550W said the most terrifying thing in the most indifferent tone. Zhang Hao shuddered as the solar system was two-dot-dimensional. Oh my god, it's so scary. Did the events in the novel actually happen? Just as I was about to ask something more, 550W had no intention of continuing to explain. The star's energy is about to run out, please earthlings decide to cross the time node as soon as possible. In the face of a civilization beyond understanding, Zhang Hao cannot do anything or struggle. He couldn't even commit suicide and could only say dejectedly, okay, I'm traveling, but people who travel have cheats, can't I have nothing. 550W seemed lost in thought and then slowly said, I can delete some things while strengthening your memory. Ah! What's the use of this? Zhang Hao was speechless. Don't talk nonsense, earthlings. Time machines consume a lot of energy, and the black hole that this star has evolved into is about to deplete its own energy. If you haven't completed the crossing before the star runs out of energy, there's no chance 550W's tone is emotionless, even colder than a cold beauty. Okay, then I need to delete some things. Zhang Hao quickly said the names of multiple movies. 550W fast operation, while enhancing Zhang Hao's memory. Before Zhang Hao's journey, 550W and Zhang Hao said the last sentence. Remember, earthlings, don't make bad movies, otherwise the great lord will come to you. Wait, what is the standard for a bad film? How do you solve the paradox of time and space shuttle? Before Zhang Hao could finish his sentence, he was thrown into a black hole evolved from stars. The summer of 2008 was particularly hot, 
and people across the country were deeply moved by the Olympic Games held in Beijing. Olympic athletes bring glory to the country and receive honors on the field. But in Hunjian, thousands of miles away, the Hunjian group performers who filmed on hot days don't have time to pay attention to the Olympics. At an outdoor filming location in Hunjian, over a dozen group performers sat listlessly under the shade of trees, avoiding the scorching heat. Zhang Hao held a dog tail grass in his mouth, his eyes fixed on the RV where the protagonist was resting not far away. The actors, including Lao Hu and Demi, drank chilled drinks, which was much more comfortable than their group performances. But what Zhang Hao is concerned about is not this, but he never expected that just recently, he had just become the chief director of the Three Body series and was working on filming. As a result, aliens were fans of Three Body Problem and believed that they had made it too poorly, so they were thrown into a wormhole and traveled back to that summer decades ago. Becoming a fresh graduate of the directing department from the Film Academy and coming to Hengyan for a group performance. I vaguely remember that the Alien Artificial Intelligence 550W had told me to make good movies and not to make bad ones again, otherwise I would come back to find myself. What? This won't be part of the plan, will it Zhang Hao thought to himself, since it's so powerful, I won't give any cheats or systems. Zhang Hao remembers that he had 550W delete some things, which happened to be the opportunity now to copy out the deleted things. As for, the three-body problem, if I don't touch it in the future, it's just when there are no movies to shoot, retire. Anyway, we can't give aliens an excuse to two-dot-dimensional themselves. We're starting work, we're starting work. The group performers should hurry back to their positions. While lost in thought, the executive director in the distance raised his horn and shouted to start work. With the sound of the executive director's horn, the dozen or so group performers sitting in the shade stood up and reluctantly walked to their designated positions. Summer filming is already a very difficult task, especially for group actors. Wearing costumes that seem to have been unwashed for hundreds of years, and wearing headgear, he transformed into various demons and monsters. The most crucial thing is that the salary is not high either. Since 2008, Hun Jian has been doing group performances and can earn 40 to 50 yuan a day. Zhang Hao doesn't know, time is a bit long ago, and he hasn't been a group actor for many days. Apart from movies, some less important things have long been forgotten. Hurry up, hurry up, why are you procrastinating? The more you cooperate, the faster the end will be. The executive director shouted, fooling the group performance. But the group performances that have been playing in Hengyan for a long time, where would they listen to the executive director's deception? Whether it ends or not depends on the director and the cast, it's none of their business. That is to say, Zhang Hao, who had just arrived at Hengyan, was very cooperative. The executive director even praised Zhang Hao, which caused a small animosity among the group performers. Now this Zhang Hao is different. With many years of directing experience, he has become a mixed-up oily character, naturally not as obedient as before. Taking advantage of the lead actor's makeup, Zhang Hao observed the surrounding camera positions and pondered on the shooting of the camera. This is a blind and imaginative fighting scene. Later, the lead actor played by Lao who would wield a sword and chop wildly, and then the group actors would fall. The rest will be left to the special effects. In 2008, Lao Hu and Demi Mi, as well as by Do Tang Yen, were the dramas that once again made Lao Hu popular throughout the country, called The Legend of Sword and Fairy 3. At this time, Zhang Hao's identity, as a small group actor in The Legend of Sword and Fairy 3, had just graduated from the film academy at the age of 22. He was a transparent and young character. After determining the camera position and shooting method, Zhang Hao calmly changed positions and found a location that was easy to grab the camera. But even if he caught the camera, with his little monster's makeup at the moment, he couldn't recognize himself as the somewhat handsome one. It doesn't matter, when it comes to group acting, you need to learn to grab the camera, which is normal. However, most people don't have the experience and ability of Zhang Hao, they just blindly grab and not only fail to get it, but also disrupt the filming. 
Zhang Hao is different. He can grab something without attracting the director's attention, and naturally blend into the scene. This is very impressive although he works as a director, many directors are also very skilled in acting, and Zhang Hao is no exception. However, compared to appearing in front of the camera, Zhang Hao prefers to take charge of the world behind the camera. The group performers had only been standing for a few minutes when they couldn't hold on anymore. Someone sneaked back into the shade of a tree to avoid the sun, and then was driven back to the set by the group leader. Zhang Hao did not slack off. Although there was some physical discomfort in this difficult environment, it was more of a psychological obstacle that Zhang Hao had overcome over the years in his work career. Finally, the lead actors finished their makeup and arrived at the set ready. After the final inspection, the voice of the director of this drama, Li Guoli, rang out on the walkie-talkie. He was sitting in the director's tent directing the play, and the scene was handed over to the executive director for scheduling. Li Guoli watched the monitor footage and communicated through walkie-talkies. This is different from Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao doesn't like to sit in front of the monitor and likes to watch the actors on set, even personally holding a camera to shoot. Therefore, he appears very different and unconventional from other directors. Let's try and shoot again, let's do it first, Li Guoli said on the walkie-talkie. The martial arts director explained the movements to the previous martial arts performers, and the executive director communicated with the main actors to quickly evacuate the filming site. As the storyboard unfolds, Zhang Hao's first scene after his rebirth unfolds as a group performance. This scene was very boring, with the main actors performing a few moves, fighting in front of the martial arts scene, and then the group actors coming up to die, and that's it. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Opportunists. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Opportunists The weather is very hot, filming is boring, the group actors are sweating profusely, and the lead actors are not much stronger. Especially in the case of Big Power, her two crew members run back and forth. At this time, the neighboring Li Xiaohong's version of Dream of the Red Chamber is also being filmed, and the production team of Sword and Fairy 3 borrowed Demi from the production team of Dream of the Red Chamber. Demi Mi played Qingwen in Dream of the Red Chamber, and Tang Xuejian as the female lead in Legend of the Sword and Fairy 3. So during this period, Demi Mi was running back and forth between two production teams. Yesterday, she just filmed a small night scene and didn't have much rest, so she came to the production team of The Legend of Sword and Fairy 3 to shoot a martial arts drama. At this moment, Demi Mi felt a little tired. Looking at the colorful group performers in front of her, she felt a bit dizzy. Coupled with the scorching sunlight, Demi Mi had a faint black vision. Ka, this one hasn't been filmed properly. Let's take a break and do it again. Li Guoli's voice rang out on the walkie-talkie. Zhang Hao is a bit strange. Generally speaking, the production team would be divided into two groups. A and B, and a little more into A C group. Martial arts scenes and some less important cultural and theatrical aspects are all entrusted to the director of Group B. According to Zhang Hao's understanding, The Legend of Sword and Fairy 3 also has two groups, A and B, Li Guoli should have been in Group A, while Group B was led by the deputy director. But why did you actually come to Group B today? Even if the scenes in Group B today are martial arts dramas starring Lao Hu, Demi, and others. Zhang Hao was lost in thought as he followed the group performers back to the shade of the tree to avoid the sun. At this moment, an accident suddenly occurred to Mimi had just turned around to rest in the RV when her eyes suddenly turned black and her body suddenly softened, about to fall. The actors beside her, including Lao Hu, Baido, and Lu Shishu, did not react. Zhang Hao happened to be next to him, three or four steps away, watching the Mimi fall. He took an arrow step forward and held the Mimi in his arms. Warm fragrance and soft jade filled his arms, but Zhang Hao had no mood to experience it. He glanced at the Mimi's face and quickly said, I'm suffering from heatstroke. Please find a doctor from the production team. Ah. 
Old who was startled and quickly said, First, help him to the RV and hide from the sun in the shade. Right, right, doctor, where is the doctor? Lu Shushur also exclaimed anxiously. The Mimi's accident caught the attention of everyone on set, and the executive director quickly notified Director Li Guli through a walkie-talkie. No problem, director, the Mimi has fainted. Zhang Hao didn't have time to think and without saying a word, a princess hugged Demi and, surrounded by several leading actors, carried her to the pergola built next to the RV. A group of people from the production team immediately gathered around, including Demi Mi's assistant, executive director, and lead actors such as Lao Hu, to check the situation. As soon as Zhang Hao placed Demi Mi on the chair, he was rudely pushed away by the executive director and then pushed out by the crowd. Demi Mi's assistant was very panicked, and director Li Guli hurriedly came over, his face turned pale. After this accident, everyone's minds went blank for a moment, and surprisingly no one wanted to quickly find a doctor from the production team. Zhang Hao looked at the anxious crew members and was a bit amused. He loudly reminded them, what are you panicking about? Find a doctor. Right, right, right. Hurry up and find a doctor. The crew doesn't have a doctor, hurry up and send them to the hospital. Quick, fast, drive to the hospital. After Zhang Hao's reminder, Li Guoli quickly arranged for someone to take Demi to the hospital. In this era, many film crews do not yet have resident doctors. The production team has a resident doctor appearing, which is when the era of low traffic fresh meat is approaching. After all, if a finger is injured, a doctor needs to handle it in a timely manner, otherwise the wound will heal. Zhang Hao didn't care about being rudely pushed away by the executive director. The crew was like this bird, and the group performances were not human, neither were they from the crew. Returning to the shade of the tree where the group performance was hiding from the sun, a group performance buddy came up and asked, Hey buddy, is Demi Mi in good shape? Zhang Hao glanced at the actors and shrugged, I don't know, I don't have time to feel it. The group actors looked disappointed and said, that's too bad. The other group performances were watching the excitement under the shade of a tree. One of the lead actors fainted from heatstroke, so the group performances just watched something new. Anyway, it's not their business. There is a saying in Hengian. In the group performances of Hengian, the laziness of men and the badness of women are deeply reflected in the more than ten group performances under the shade of trees. Perhaps there are those who really enjoy watching the excitement and have a warm heart, which is very common in the group performance circle in Beijing. After such a situation occurred, filming could no longer proceed, so director Li Guoli announced the end of work. He then hurriedly rushed to the hospital to see Demi Mi. Zhang Hao and a dozen other group performers lined up to hand in their props, remove their makeup, change their clothes, and then sign in at the group leader's place. In 2008, there was no WeChat yet. The group leader sent notifications through QQ, and then the group performers signed up in the group. The person who signs up will go to the place, the group leader will select the appropriate person, and then bring them to the production team. I finished work very early today. I came over after 8 o'clock in the morning and finished work before 1 o'clock in the afternoon. There's no way, the main actors are all lying in the hospital, and the production team will definitely stop, so we have to stop working. But for the group performers, it's a good thing to finish work early and still get a day's worth of money. The group leader is in front of the minibus, reading the person's name in a notebook. The person who reads it signs their name in the notebook and then gets on the bus and goes back. Zhou Yang. 2. Ma Yi. 2. Sign here, next, Li He. Arrived. A sleazy middle-aged man hunched his body and smiled obsequiously, handing a cigarette to the group leader. Brother Lu, next time you have a good job, you must think of me. It's easy to say, sign, hurry up and get in the car. The group leader pinned the cigarette to their ears and waved his hand to drive Li He into the car. Zhang Hao. 2. Zhang Hao responded and stood out. Sign here, 
the group leader pointed to the blank space after Zhang Hao's name on the notebook and handed Li He a 100 yuan banknote. After signing his name, Zhang Hao took the banknote in surprise and asked, Brother Lu, is this? The crew asked me to give it to you. You did a great job just now, and you understand the rules. Don't talk nonsense when you go back, Lu advised. In that case, Zhang Hao accepted it and nodded, saying, Don't worry, Brother Lu. I definitely won't talk nonsense everywhere. Get in the car. Lu waved his hand and continued shouting, Next, Zhao Ziwei. When getting on the car, Zhang Hao received a look of envy and jealousy from the group performers, secretly hating why he didn't seize the opportunity, otherwise this hundred yuan would belong to them. Zhang Hao had long anticipated this scene. He, or rather the person he used to be, had just arrived at Hengjian a few days ago and was unfamiliar with his place and had few acquaintances in Hengjian. What kind of bird does the Hengjian group perform? Zhang Hao has experienced it and knows that they are inseparable from each other. Simply close your eyes and take a nap, ignoring these boring group performers. After Lu finished naming, he got on the car and signaled the driver to leave. At this moment, a group performer excitedly said, Today is payday. Go back and buy some small drinks to drink. What's the point of drinking? Why don't you go play with the old lady? Okay. That was really good last time. The ball was really big. Lu didn't care about the vulgar language of the group performers, and he enthusiastically discussed with several group performers which female group performer had better bedtime skills. Zhang Hao had no interest and was pondering various things in his mind. In my impression, he did group performances in Hengjian until after this year's National Day, and then was called back by his mother's phone. Mom Zhang Yu is the CEO of an advertising company and can be considered a small wealthy class with millions of assets. She divorced Zhang Hao's father in her early years, and then that unknown father immigrated. Zhang Hao grew up with his grandparents since childhood. Due to his grandfather being an employee of the Beijing Film Studio in his early years, Zhang Hao has been playing at the studio since childhood. So Zhang Hao became interested in movies due to his grandfather's relationship, and despite his mother Zhang Yu's opposition, he applied to the directing department of the Beijing Film Academy. After graduating from the directing department, Zhang Hao did not follow his grandfather's arrangements and did not seek a position in the capital. Instead, he came to Hengjian and worked as a drifter for several months. Until Zhang Yu asked him to go back and work for the advertising company at home. As for becoming a director, it will be more than ten years later. More than a decade later, he became a popular director in the advertising industry, and then used the advertising industry as a springboard to enter the film and television industry. Afterwards, one step at a time, steadily rising, and finally ushering in the most glorious moment, he directed the domestic science fiction masterpiece, Three Body Problem, but was thrown back to 2008 by aliens due to poor filming. Since there is a chance to start over, Zhang Hao will definitely not repeat the same mistake. If you want to come, you should go to the right place and become a director directly. Alien Iron has launched a weapon of causality, wiping out so many classic movies that existed in the previous world in your mind. If this still doesn't work out, Zhang Hao might as well buy a piece of tofu and crash it to death. As for whether there will be a paradox of time and space or a parallel universe, Zhang Hao doesn't care. Anyway, as an extraterrestrial insect, he can't understand these profound things. Let's start from this moment. I don't know what the operation mode of Hengjian group performances was in 2008. The Hengjian Actors Guild was established in 2003, and I think it's similar to now. Let's make do with it. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Uninvited Guests you are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 4 Original Catching Third Mate You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 5 Running Around You are listening at NovelFull.audio. 
Chapter 5 Running around the next morning, when Zhang Hao got up and went out, he saw that the landlord's uncle and aunt were cleaning Sister Ling's room, roast about yesterday's incident while cleaning up. Hey, when Ling first came to Hengyan, she was such a good girl. How did she become like this now? The landlady sighed heavily. The landlord uncle was quite open-minded and said, Many people who come to Hengyan may not be good at first, but good people are difficult to get along with, especially for a beautiful woman. To be honest, do you have any thoughts about Aling? The landlord aunt grabbed the landlord's uncle's ear and asked. No, no, no. The landlord uncle waved his hand repeatedly and said, There are so many beautiful women, and it's not uncommon to see them before. Do you think I've had any extramarital affairs? It's better not to. The quarrel between the landlord and his wife made Zhang Hao laugh. Coincidentally, the landlord saw Zhang Hao and waved, Zhang Hao, come here, here's this thing for you. Zhang Hao took the photo album like item in confusion and asked, What is this? What Ling left for you, be a commemoration, said the landlord uncle. Zhang Hao raised his eyebrows and opened the photo album, which contained many photos of Ling Jia, including ancient palace maids, maids, and photos of flower girl dressed up, all of which were taken on set. Among them, there are also a few photos of Ling Jia and Zhang Hao together. Zhang Hao is a bit puzzled. Why did Ling leave this photo album for him? Do you want to remember her? It doesn't matter anymore, even if everyone has left, Zhang Hao can only wish Sister Ling a better life in the future and forget what happened here. For Zhang Hao, after all, he had been in the circle in his past life and had already witnessed some chaos, so he could calm down. In fact, when mixed into the upper and middle levels of the entertainment industry, the chaotic image is actually not as good as the lower level. Previously, Zhang Hao heard a story about a little girl who was doing makeup. In order to join the crew, she wore pajamas throughout the entire production. There are various other outrageous rumors, and 70.8% of the rumors in the entertainment industry were ultimately proven to be true. After Ling Jia left, Zhang Hao's group performance life returned to tranquility. However, in the following days, he never received any more scenes, and at the same time, Lu, the group leader who usually takes him, looked at him with a strange expression. Before Zhang Hao could figure out what was going on, he received a private message from the group leader Lu Gu saying, Zhang Hao, you can't take on shows with me in the future. Ah. Why? Zhang Hao quickly asked. Alas, who made you offend Wu Dakin? He spoke up and whoever asked you to take on the role would be against him, Lu Gu messaged. Wu De Kuntu. Is that the Kuntu who has a wife who looks very similar to second senior brother? Zhang Hao asked. Yes, that's good. You should go home early or go to the capital. You won't be able to pick up the show in Hengjian, Lu kindly reminded Zhang Hao. I understand, thank you, brother Lu. At the end of the conversation with the group leader Lu Gu, Zhang Hao was also amused. Is it necessary to target him with such a small group performance? If he were to make a special appointment or something like that, Wu Dakin would have no choice but to deal with him. However, now Zhang Hao is just a small group performer. As for why does Wu De Kunta know his name? Knowing where to live, ask the landlord uncle again, and naturally you will know. Moreover, the surname Zhang is still very rare, and the probability of Zhang Hao having the same name in Hengyan is also very low. It doesn't matter, anyway, it won't be long before Zhang Hao returns to his home in the capital. Coincidentally, Taking advantage of this opportunity, Zhang Hao returned the house, packed his luggage, took a bus to Jinhua, and then flew back to the capital. Zhang Yu, who is a mother, was quite angry when his son went to Hengyan for a group performance. But now that his son had lost his way and returned in a few months, Zhang Yu was happy again, so he personally cooked a good dish for his son. At the dinner table, knowing that his son has always been very independent, Zhang Yu still asked Zhang Hao, Son, he's back now. How about coming to his mother's company and starting as an assistant? Zhang Hao was eating boiled fish, which was made from black fish. 
The meat was tight and the taste was delicate, and his mother didn't make it as spicy as Sichuan cuisine. Zhang Hao really liked it. Seeing his mother again at home, Zhang Hao didn't feel very excited either. He was younger than his mother in his memory, but now he is only 22 years old. Upon hearing his mother's words, Zhang Hao shook his head and said, Mom, I'm really not good at advertising. Who knew it from the beginning? You happen to be familiar with the business at the company and want to become a director, so go shoot our company's commercials and also become a director. Zhang Yu followed the lead. In his past life, Zhang Hao was deceived by his mother and went to work in an advertising company, then became a director of advertising films, resulting in the director's dream being realized more than a decade later. However, now Zhang Hao has absolute confidence that he can make a name for himself in the upcoming era, so he refused his mother's proposal. Mom, I still want to venture into the directing industry. In fact, when I was in Hengdian, I had already written a script. Starting tomorrow, I will go to major film and television companies to promote and sell. Zhang Hao said of his own plan. Zhang Yu glanced at Zhang Hao and said, You child, what do I say about you? You want to become a director. You listen to your external police platoon. I have arranged a great position for you to become an assistant director. You just won't go, it's infuriating your grandfather. My grandfather worked at the Beijing Film Studio as a deputy director in his early years, and later retired, but his network was still very broad. Zhang Hao smiled and said, I just don't want to be subservient to others. Even if I am the deputy director of the National Teachers Academy, I don't want to be the deputy. What is a national teacher? Perhaps it could have been called a film master in the early years, but adults, times have changed, and the national teacher is ultimately outdated. Even if Man Jianghong, the highest grossing film of Guoshu in the future, won 4 billion yuan at the box office, it is hard to say how much of this 4 billion yuan comes from Wandering Earth 2 and other films next door. And logically speaking, this movie should be called The Legend of Qin Hui. Knowing that his son always had his own opinions, Zhang Yu felt helpless, but he did not insist on letting Zhang Hao work for his own advertising company. I thought to myself that when my son gets beaten up in major film and television companies, he will be honest. However, no matter what, Zhang Yu would not have thought that her son, who was reborn once again, would already be a stubborn figure with a firm will and unwavering determination to move forward towards his goal. In the following days, Zhang Hao stayed at home in the balcony next to the living room, where Zhang Yu planted some green plants, became his temporary office. Zhang Hao made the final revisions to the script, then printed a few copies using his home printer and sent them to several film and television companies, including Huai Brothers, Bona Film, and Light Media. He wasn't idle either, holding the script and starting to promote it to major film and television companies in the capital. However, things didn't go smoothly. The script structure of Mistaken Kill is exquisite, and the theme is also very attractive. It is a rare genre in domestic movies nowadays, and several film and television companies have expressed strong interest. But when I heard that Zhang Hao was going to direct it himself and asked about his age, he was only 20.2 years old, so he didn't hesitate to refuse. Please give me a chance. I have already made a complete budget and am confident in investing 15 million yuan to complete the production of the entire film. Zhang Haoyan said earnestly. But the person sitting across from him remained unmoved and said, I'm sorry, Mr. Zhang. We have great confidence in this script. If possible, you can sell it to us and we will look for a suitable director to complete the production of the movie. No, I don't have that plan. My requirement is to become a director of a movie, even if it's for zero pay, said Zhang Hao. I'm sorry, Mr. Zhang. Your request is too outrageous, we can't agree. The executive from the film and television company across the street threw the script back, clearly indicating a farewell. Zhang Hao also understood that there was not much hope left. He had experienced similar scenes several times in the past few days and had become accustomed to it. Holding his head high and chest high, 
Zhang Hao still confidently held the script and walked out of this film and television company called Perfect World. Coming to this company, Zhang Hao also values the film and television company's future investment in the movie 33 Days of Broken Love, which can be considered a somewhat bold film and television company. Unfortunately, Zhang Hao has no industry experience and cannot compare to Ting Huatao. Moreover, his script is original, and 33 Days of Lost Love is supported by fans of the original novel. In future popular terms, 33 Days of Broken Love is an IP with traffic and a guarantee of success. And, Mistakenly Killed has nothing but the script itself however, Zhang Hao is not discouraged, but continues to be confident and runs around major film and television companies, seeking opportunities to invest and become a director. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Hold your head high and keep your chest high, for recommendation and collection. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Hold your head high and keep your chest high, for recommendation, for collection, your script seems very boring, but the story you're telling is quite exciting, my mother Zhang Yu commented after reading the script written by Zhang Hao. The difference between a script and a novel is that the novel reads smoothly and readers can read it fluently. But there is a certain reading barrier to the script, and even the best script is only a script before it is converted into an image. Text and images are two completely different mediums, and Zhang Hao is very aware of this and was not discouraged by his mother's evaluation. He has his own advantages, as a native of Beijing, his family also has some connection with the film and television companies in the capital. I am also very familiar with the filming and entertainment industry, and I won't wander around like headless flies like a novice. In the entertainment industry, if a screenwriter writes a script, there are generally two paths. One is to sell one's creativity to influential filmmakers, directors, or top-tier celebrities. If they can gain the appreciation of the other party, these well-connected filmmakers, directors, or top-tier celebrities will recommend projects to film and television companies and then attract necessary investments. The second is to directly submit the script to the film and television company, which will be screened and evaluated layer by layer. This is the simplest and most direct approach, as well as the most hopeless one. Zhang Hao chose the second option. Although his family has some connections with the film and television industry, his grandfather also knows the third son of China Film Group. But when it comes to movie projects with millions of investments, any film and television company will be cautious and rely on personal relationships and other factors. Continuing to bring a few pre-arranged script drafts, Zhang Hao borrowed a Beatles sedan from his mother and traveled to major film and television companies in Beijing. Written Road, Chaoyang District, Beijing, is located at the International Building on Jiangwomen Outer Street between the East Third Ring Road and the East Second Ring Road. Zhang Hao found a parking spot, parked his car, and took his handbag to go to Block A of the International Building. The purpose of his trip is to visit Bona Pictures located in this building. After splitting with Polly, Bona Pictures was ambitious and vowed to make a name for itself in the film market, which was an opportunity for Zhang Hao. Carrying a handbag, Zhang Hao walked into the door of Bona Film. My eyes quickly scanned the wide hall, but my footsteps walked leisurely towards the front desk. The receptionist at the front desk, wearing light makeup, short hair, black framed glasses, and a professional suit with a buttock skirt, appeared intellectually beautiful. She greeted Zhang Hao with a formulaic smile. Hello sir, may I ask if there is anything I can help you with? I'm looking for Mr. Zhou Zhizha from the Investment Production Management Department, Zhang Hao smiled. To become the facade of a large company, the receptionist at the front desk is definitely not a fool. So Zhang Hao directly stated his purpose. Excuse me, is he there? The receptionist at the front desk still smiled professionally and said, Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No. Zhang Hao shook his head and said, I would like to make an appointment, but I don't know the phone number of his secretary's office. I also sent an email, but Mr. Zhou Zhizha didn't reply. 
I'm afraid the other party doesn't want to reply to him and won't give him the opportunity to make an appointment. May I ask why you are here? Upon hearing the receptionist's skilled questioning, Zhang Hao gestured for his handbag and said, I am a screenwriter and director, and I have a script that Mr. Zhou Zhizhe would like to take a look at. Seeing the other person's slightly surprised expression, Zhang Hao asked, Aren't I like it? I didn't mean that, the receptionist apologized slightly. It's just that you look too young. With a sigh in his heart, Zhang Hao could only secretly say that as expected, his age and qualifications were indeed hard wounds. Can you help me make a phone call? He asked again. This. Seeing the other party feeling a bit embarrassed, Zhang Hao immediately showed a sincere expression, just like all young people eager for opportunities. I can contact Mr. Zhou Zhizhe's secretary desk. It has to be said that Zhang Hao's sincere and handsome little face played a significant role. The receptionist quickly dialed a phone number, said a few simple words, and then hung up. Sorry, sir. Zhang Hao, you can call me Zhang Hao. Okay, mister. Zhang Hao, Director Zhou doesn't have time at the moment. You can directly submit the script to the editorial and review department of the investment production management department on the seventh floor, and there will be a dedicated person to handle it. Thank you. Zhang Hao said very sincerely, after all, they are strangers, and the other party cannot do more. As for the script, he had already submitted it, and if there were any news, it would have been there long ago. However, Zhang Hao still held a glimmer of hope and went to the seventh floor to take a look. After inquiring, Zhang Hao found the editorial and review department under the investment production management department. This is the place where Bona Pictures specializes in handling various scripts. To be honest, there are hundreds of scripts submitted to this place every month. A woman in her thirties ignored Zhang Hao's still handsome face and formulaically responded, leave the script, fill in the phone number, email, and address, and we will notify you if there is any news. Zhang Hao shrugged and left a script, then left his name, phone number, and email on a form. Glancing around the editorial department, Zhang Hao's pupils narrowed, and he could see that the backlog of scripts in the department was like a small hill. You should know that this is still 2008, and the Chinese language film market is not as explosive as a few years later, but the scripts of large companies like Bona Pictures are piled up like a mountain. Zhang Hao did not raise any questions about the director, and it was of no use talking to employees at this level. Moreover, from the situation on site, it seems that there is a possibility that Bona Film will use the script. Well, he doesn't have to hold on to too much hope. In less than 10 minutes, this kind of reception that film companies have to repeat countless times a month has come to an end. Despite his unwillingness and desire to see influential figures from Bona Pictures, Zhang Hao knew that with his own connections, it was almost impossible. Perhaps it's still possible for my grandfather, as he has worked at the Beijing Film Studio before. Yu Dong, the CEO of Bona Film, also came from the studio, and the two have a connection. It seems that on my grandfather's birthday, both San Yi and Yu Dong came to wish him a birthday, and Zhang Hao also saw him. But still, as the saying goes, Zhang Hao is too young, even if his family has a wide network and connections with big shots in the film and television industry. But when it comes to film projects with millions of investments, any company will be cautious. Besides, Zhang Hao is still so young in this era, not later, movies with millions of investments are not small. You should know that, Crazy Stone, which made Ning Hao famous, invested only 3.5 million yuan and ultimately grossed only 27 million yuan at the box office. Before Crazy Stone, Ning Hao had already directed several movies and was considered qualified. If at this moment, Zhang Hao had project experience and had a box office of tens of millions, he wouldn't be as unpopular as he is now. From this perspective, perhaps following my grandfather's advice and starting as the deputy on set, I will wait for several years or more to seek the opportunity to become a director. But Zhang Hao had a sense of urgency, he didn't want to wait for a moment, he just wanted to succeed immediately now. 
Zhang Hao had no choice but to leave the editorial department and prepare to go to the next film and television company to continue seeking opportunities for directing. But he didn't see it. After he left, the helmsman of Bona Pictures, Yu Dong, saw him. This is the kid from the Zhang family. What is he doing here? A hint of doubt flashed in Yu Dong's eyes. Of course, Yu Dong remembers Zhang Hao. On his tenth birthday, he was invited by the old man to attend. At the birthday banquet, Mr. Zhang asked little Zhang Hao what his wish was, and Zhang Hao replied childishly but firmly, I want to become a great director like Spielberg. Xiao Zhang Hao's answer made Yu Dong Da curious. At that time, Yu Dong was still at the North Film Studio, and at that time, there was no Bona Film Company. Later, Yu Dong also met Zhang Hao on Grandpa Zhang's birthday. The young man was very handsome and had the potential to become a star, so Yu Dong still had a deep impression of him. Yu Dong looked at the editorial department and walked in to ask the middle-aged woman in the reception, what did that young man come for just now? The middle-aged woman replied, Mr. Yu, I'm here to deliver the script. The script. Yu Dong became interested and said, Show me. The middle-aged woman handed the script left by Zhang Hao to Yu Dong, who took it and looked at the two big characters on the cover. Mistaken Kill Opening the first page of the script, there is a summary of the story, and starting from the second page, it is the official script with a very standardized format. A glimmer of brilliance flashed in Yu Dong's eyes as he said, that kid from the Zhang family is a bit interesting. Thank you for the reward from the book friend Zhan Pao Shaking Ming. Thank you all for your support. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Dawn Emergence, Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 8 Attracting Investment, Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Attracting Investment, Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection, Senyi hung up the phone, speechless for a long time. Mr. Zhang's grandson wants to become a director himself, which seems a bit fanciful to third master. The 22 year old director is completely unheard of, and with just one mouthful, he has invested 15 million yuan. 15 million not 1.5 million. There are countless directors waiting for opportunities in the film industry now, who can have the opportunity to direct a film with an investment of 15 million yuan. Perhaps only those who have accumulated considerable achievements in the industry are eligible. But Mr. Zhang supported his grandson with great courage. He used his years of savings, combined with a mortgage loan from a courtyard house, to borrow a considerable amount of money. With Zhang Yu paying for it himself, it can be said that the whole family mobilized and raised 8 million yuan to make a movie for Zhang Hao. Mr. Zhang, please keep it a secret and not tell Zhang Hao about his family raising money to make a movie, so as not to put too much pressure on him. In this way, San Yi, on behalf of China Film, approved 2 million from the youth director training program and publicly stated that China Film invested 10 million. After the news of China Film Investments Zhang Hao is released, the remaining 5 million will naturally be paid by investors. After paying respects to his grandfather, the next day, Zhang Hao arrived at Zhongying as scheduled. The receptionist at the front desk had already received instructions. After Zhang Hao expressed his intention, a receptionist at the front desk led Zhang Hao to Sanya's office. Tang Jia, this is Zhang Hao, come to see Mr. Han. The receptionist handed Zhang Hao to Third Lord Secretary. Okay, you go down and I'll take him inside. Tang Jie nodded and said to Zhang Hao, Mr. Zhang, come with me. Zhang Hao sorted out his attire. A good dressing image is very important and also shows respect for the person he is about to meet. After looking at his own handbag, the prepared split-shot manuscript, and the production schedule, Zhang Hao followed Tang Jie into Sanya's office. Mr. Han, Mr. Zhang Hao is here. Okay, you make tea, let me have a good chat with him. 
The third master was dressed in a Zhongshan suit, exuding a strong aura. As the helmsman of China Film, Sen Yi can be said to hold great power, and China Film has always been committed to the development of Chinese language films, providing many opportunities for young directors. Xiao Hao, do you remember me? Third master gestured for Zhang Hao to sit down on the sofa where he was receiving guests, and asked with a friendly expression. Of course I remember, Mr. Han is good. Zhang Hao quickly said hello and then sat on the sofa, not daring to sit more, only sitting one dot third. This is not to be afraid, even if you are reborn, you still need to respect a big shot like third master. If you call it that, you'll be separated. Let's call me Uncle Han. Your father and I are classmates at Beijian University, and we even introduced him to your mother. But later on, he became determined to immigrate. Sigh. Third master sighed. San Yi graduated from the Chinese Department of Sichuan University and later studied at Beijian University. Zhang Hao has known about the past of his elders in his past life, but he has never seen what his father looks like. Listening to these words did not touch him much, and having no father was not a big deal. Isn't he living quite well? It's also strange that with such a good background and resources in his past life, Zhang Hao still needs to be in his forties to make a name for himself. It seems that while background and network are important, one's own abilities are also important. Having a background and connections, being incapable is just a piece of trash that can't be helped up to the wall. All right, let's not talk about that anymore. Your grandfather called me yesterday and said you want to be a director, asked San Yi. At this moment, the secretary Tang Jia served tea and retreated, leaving space for San Yi and Zhang Hao. Without drinking tea, Zhang Hao took out his prepared script and split shot manuscript from his bag and said to San Yi, Yes, I have written a script myself called Mistaken Kill, which is a suspense genre. San Yi took over the script and split shot manuscript, carefully flipping through them. The script format is very standardized, and now the status of screenwriters in the film and television industry is not high. Many screenwriters are inexperienced and do not even understand the script format. But the script written by Zhang Hao is strict and standardized, which shows that he is well prepared and meticulous. Also, how can investors rest assured that they can't even write a good script when they hope to invest in your film project? After reviewing the split shot manuscript again, Zhang Hao used a simple line sketch manuscript. Although it was simple, through the manuscript, San Yi could also see what the shot looked like. Don't forget, San Yi himself is also a director. You have been well prepared, it seems that you have come well prepared, said the third master with a smile. Zhang Hao rubbed his head and said, I have been preparing for a long time. After graduating from Beijing University, I also worked as a group performer in Hengdian for a few months, observing the operation mode of the production team. Okay, only those who are prepared have a chance to succeed. San Yi put down the split shot manuscript, gestured for Zhang Hao to drink tea, and then asked, I'm asking you, you're too young. You've never had such a young film director before. What if the crew doesn't agree with you? Constrain with work contracts. Zhang Haoyan is concise and concise. How to constrain it? It is clear who is responsible for what, and each group has its own person in charge. I am filming to complete the film project, not to engage in internal conflicts, so I will use work contracts to constrain the person in charge of each group and find the person in charge if there is a problem. Zhang Hao explained. Very good, very clear-minded, but they will act in defiance of what they say. Sometimes the work contract of the production team can't restrain these film studio veterans, said the third master. I have already said that I am doing it to complete the project, not to engage in personnel struggles. Besides, if I mess up the project, I won't be able to go back and take over the advertising company at home, starting from scratch. But those people, I will definitely promote them, and I will still dare to use them in the future Zhang Hao's tone gradually became firm. With a strong will and clear goals, this kid is not here to play games. Third Lord made a judgment on Zhang Hao. Very good, I'm almost at ease now. 
The film has an investment of 15 million yuan, and I will solve it for you by 10 million yuan. The remaining 5 million yuan, you have to figure it out on your own, said the third master with a smile. In fact, Sanyi only paid 2 million yuan, and the remaining 8 million yuan was paid by the Zhang family. Don't worry, Uncle Han. As long as you are willing to invest, someone will naturally send the remaining 5 million. Zhang Hao put aside half of his heart and worked hard to attract investment, which was solved now. Okay, what do you want from that person's treatment? Third Lord asked with concern. I hope the movie casting will fully respect my opinions, Zhang Hao requested. That's no problem. You're a movie director, and no one knows a suitable actor better than you do. What else? Also, I hope to prioritize my opinions when editing. In the Chinese language film industry, the director's power is still relatively high, but Zhang Hao is still young and may not have the final editing power. However, Sen Yi still agreed. You are well prepared. You know what the movie looks like the best, and the final editing will be based on your opinion. Also, I hope my remuneration can be converted into investment, Zhang Hao made his final request. Hmm. San Yi expressed confusion. Zhang Hao shrugged and knew he had made an unreasonable request, so he had to give up. In fact, there are rumors in the industry that directors investing in their own film projects is a taboo. Because the film project is ultimately a high-dot-risk investment project with a high probability of losses, it is wise not to invest in order to avoid risks. But in fact, it is common for directors in the industry to invest in their own films. For example, the current national teacher, who is still a national teacher, has been investing in national teacher's own films for the new picture company founded by him and his partner Zhang Weiping. If the timing is right, Guixia will soon face a career Waterloo, and more than a decade later, he will once again stumble on the same theme, even though that movie made money. The movie, Half River Green, is full of doubts, with a box office of Yin Bing and a half-hour midnight performance, stealing the box office of the neighboring movie. There are also crazy marketing behaviors, such as going out of the vicinity of Qin Hui and other outrageous things. In theory, if Half River Green ignores those off-the-set factors, it can still be considered a high-dot quality film under the capital operation formula and can still make money. What is the capital operation formula, which is the combination of successful film genres, replicable scripts, renowned directors, popular celebrities, crazy marketing, and small and medium? Sized Investments, Making a Fortune Half River Green is such a movie that blends the elements of domestic movies to make money, but it is well mixed and not well mixed, making it nameless. But with a touch of conscience, who do you want to win between Ball 2 and Half River Green? I hope Half River Green wins, so the future film market will be manipulated by capital. If you're lucky, you can produce a few Half River Green movies, but if you're not lucky, it will all be nameless. So it's better to win ball two, at least the upper limit is high. Of course, it's too early to say this now. This formula has not yet been invented, mainly because the largest capital internet enterprise in the film and television industry in the future has not yet entered the market. The biggest tycoon in the film and television industry now is actually Cole Boss. When Cole Boss was brilliant, the film and television industry was actually relatively easy to get along with. The Cole boss doesn't care about anything except the female celebrity. The rest are left to the creativity of film and television creators, so they often produce good film and television works. Secondly, there are real estate tycoons, possibly due to high real estate risks, so capital control is relatively strict. The worst thing is that when internet capital enters the market, big data, big IP, large traffic, and various requirements are constrained. If it's a good constraint, it's still okay. But the problem is that capital is short dot sided, only focusing on immediate benefits, making quick money and cutting leaks. They don't care whether the market is developing healthily or not. Perhaps Zhang Hao, who has been reborn once again, can change the phenomenon of bad coins driving out good ones. 
Although Zhang Hao was also a typical director under the capital operation formula in his previous life, he made a terrible film called Three Body Problem. But isn't this the sword of Damocles with an alien master? If you make a bad movie yourself, the alien master will directly destroy you at the atomic level. Speaking of which, the alien master has not yet answered Zhang Hao's question. What are the criteria for judging good or bad movies? He made a mistake. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Project Preparation Meeting, Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Project Preparation Meeting, Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection After leaving the building of China Film Studio, Zhang Hao breathed a sigh of relief and completed the investment. Although there is still a gap of 5 million, once news of China film investment spreads, film and television companies will soon come knocking on their doors. As expected, just as I had a hamburger at KFC, a phone call came and it turned out to be Bona Pictures. Hello, this is the Secretary's Office of General Manager Yu of Bona Pictures. Please don't hang up. General Manager Yu will be speaking to you in person. Okay. After about 30 seconds, Yu Dong's voice on the other end of the phone rang out. Hello, is that Zhang Hao? I'm Yu Dong. Hello Mr. Yu, I'm Zhang Hao, Zhang Hao quickly replied. Ha, huh, I've read your script and it's very good. I even called your grandfather. I heard you got an investment from San Yi, right? Yu Dong didn't hesitate and just got to the point. Zhang Hao smiled and said, Yes, Uncle Han is very supportive of me and has invested 10 million in me. Oh no. 10 million is not a small amount, Third Lord is quite wealthy. Yu Dong took a cold breath, thinking that he wouldn't have that much courage. When San Yi was working as a deputy factory at the Beijing Film Studio, Yu Dong worked under him. Later, the two of them went to China Film Studio and joined Bona both becoming important figures in the mainland film industry. Zhang Hao smiled and said, Actually, this 10 million is not enough. I'm still 5 million short, and I need to continue investing. 10 million is not enough. You have a big appetite, so don't look for anyone else. Come to my place and I'll invest this 5 million, Yu Dong said directly. Yu Dong did not trust the inexperienced and 22 year old young man Zhang Hao, but trusted the judgment of his old boss. Although Zhang Hao's background plays a certain role, as the helmsman of China film, Sen Yi must be very rational when investing, and his background and network cannot affect his judgment. Coming back to Bona Pictures again, this time Zhang Hao is not in the state of begging his grandfather to tell his grandmother. He walks with a cool demeanor and speaks with a very imposing demeanor. When Zhang Hao saw the beautiful buttocks wrapped skirt front desk lady again, he directly said, Mr. Yu, I have an appointment. The front desk lady in the buttocks wrapped skirt clearly had an impression of Zhang Hao, a handsome young man. She was surprised by Zhang Hao's toughness in speaking this time, but her good professional ethics still made her suppress her surprised expression. Just now, General Yu's secretary informed her that Zhang Hao had arrived and directly informed her. So, the front desk lady in the buttocks wrapped skirt wore a professional smile with a touch of warmth. Not everyone can see General Yu, especially such a young person. Please wait a moment, I will call Mr. Yu's secretary's desk and she will come down to pick you up right away. Thank you. Zhang Hao nodded slightly and continued, How long have you been working at Bona Pictures? Ah. The front desk lady in the buttocks wrapped skirt didn't expect Zhang Hao to suddenly ask a question. She reacted and replied, It's been a year. Have you been working as a front desk for a year? Zhang Hao asked. Yes. Faced with the handsome young man, the front desk lady in the buttocks wrapped skirt was also willing to chat a few more words, and he was the person that General Yu wanted to see so she didn't consider leaving her job without permission. Zhang Hao continued, Have you ever thought about changing jobs? What? The front desk lady in the buttocks skirt was surprised. What does this mean, handsome guy? 
How about changing jobs and being my assistant? Zhang Hao blinked. This. The front desk lady in the buttocks wrapped skirt hesitated, wondering how to refuse without hurting the handsome guy's heart. At this moment, General Secretary Yu came down and resolved the difficulties faced by the front desk lady in the buttocks wrapped skirt. Mr. Zhang Hao, right. Please come with me. Mr. Yu is already waiting for you. General Secretary Yu politely led Zhang Hao on the way and did not underestimate him because of his youth. Working in a large company, the plot of a novel where a dog's eye looks down on a person and the protagonist pretends to slap them in the face is unlikely to occur. No matter whether you underestimate it in your heart or not, there will always be some respect on the surface. This is the principle of being a person and the law of the workplace. Moreover, Zhang Hao is the person Yu Dong wants to meet, so it's definitely not easy. Wait a moment, Zhang Hao turned his head and asked the front desk lady of the buttocks wrapped skirt, What's your name? Tang Chan Chan, my name is Tang Chan Chan. The front desk lady in the buttocks skirt hesitated and said her name. Tang Chan Chan, this name is so familiar. Okay, I remember you now. If you have the idea of changing jobs, remember to contact me. Zhang Hao smiled slightly and followed Yu Dong's secretary up. After Zhang Hao went up, another receptionist teased Tang Chan Chan and said, Hey, do you think this handsome guy is interested in you and wants to pursue you? Shu, don't talk recklessly. He's so handsome and looks like a child from a wealthy family. How could he have taken a liking to me? Tang Chan Chan said, feeling a bit pleased in her heart. At the same time, she also secretly jotted down Zhang Hao's contact information, which was included in the visitor list. If one day I have to change jobs in the future, it might be an opportunity. Yu Dong's office is larger and more luxurious than San Ye's, which may be the reason why San Ye prefers simplicity. Zhang Hao, a former executive of a film company, met two in a row today. At this moment, he remained calm and calmly chatted with Yu Dong. I want to ask you, in terms of casting, what kind of actor do you want to choose? Zhang Hao replied, I adhere to one principle, only choosing the right and not the expensive. Even if the other party is a top-tier celebrity. Even if the other party is a top-tier celebrity. Yu Dong nodded with a smile and said, that's good. Otherwise, this 15 million yuan may not be enough for their remuneration. In recent years, Hong Kong film stars are the mainstream. Mainland film stars used to be supporting role for others. Chen Kun and Huang Xiaoming are all supporting role. However, the situation will improve in the future. The rise of Su De Beitu, Bao Qiang, Huang Bo, Shen Tang, and even Wu Jing will become the backbone of mainland Chinese film stars. Of course, it cannot be ignored that the returning four idols also rushed into the film market to make money, although most of them were struggling, to the extent that Capital later invented the capital operation formula. The meeting with Yu Dong went smoothly. After discussing the script and some specific details, Yu Dong immediately made a decision and invested 5 million yuan, becoming the second largest investor in Mistaken Kill. A few days later, the preparatory meeting for the Mistaken Kill project was held at China Film Studio. Zhang Hao appeared briefly at the beginning with the third master, standing on stage for him and leaving. Only Huang Jianxin, the producer of China Film, and Liu Hao, the producer of Bona Pictures, are left to discuss the preparations for the production team with Zhang Hao. Huang Jianxin is just pretending to be a producer and doesn't care about anything. It was Liu Hao who truly cooperated with Zhang Hao in building the production team. It is worth mentioning that the secretary said that Zhang Hao was interested in the front desk lady of the wraparound skirt, and Yu Dong directly made a favor by helping the front desk lady of the wraparound skirt complete a job change and become Zhang Hao's assistant. Tang Chan Chan sat next to Zhang Hao with a notebook in her hand, never expecting herself to be switched jobs like this. Looking at Zhang Hao chatting confidently with the company's producer Liu Hao, Tang Chan Chan had no choice but to comfort herself. At least Zhang Hao is handsome, and looking at handsome guys is also a job that is pleasing to the eye. 
The filming location is in Thailand, and I hope to communicate with the local authorities in advance to avoid unnecessary trouble. Zhang Hao and Lu Hao discussed the film preparation work. Will there be any procedural trouble when shooting abroad? Lu Hao was skeptical. Not really, many movies have been filmed in Thailand, and the policies there are very supportive. There may be some employment problems, but it's not a problem. Zhang Hao was fully prepared, and naturally took this small issue into consideration. Okay, Lu Hao wrote in his work log. He already has 15 million yuan in funds in his hands, and he will go to Thailand to communicate in a few days. In terms of casting, I hope the male lead can find middle-aged male actors with mature acting skills, and the female lead can be selected. I need actors with good acting skills and good appearance. Let's take a look at the audition situation. Zhang Hao expressed his casting ideas. In fact, auditions are not very popular in the Chinese language film industry. Characters in the Chinese language film industry are usually decided by directors who have a project and a desired candidate, discuss with investors, and then communicate with the desired candidate, without the need for auditions. Only characters with scraps of information will be released for auditions to select suitable candidates. So there are often announcements that the protagonist of a certain film and television project needs to audition. In fact, the role was already predetermined before the audition, and most people do not understand these details, thinking that there is really an audition process. Do you have a suitable candidate? Lu Hao asked. Guo Tao, I think it's good. Yu Feihong is also suitable for the role of the female lead. You can ask their agent if there is a schedule. Zhang Hao proposed a candidate. Okay, I'll contact their agent. Lu Hao wrote it down again in his work log. We have also discussed other aspects of work one after another, and the project preparation meeting will be considered concluded. When it comes to meetings, it's basically a discussion between Zhang Hao and Lu Hao. Huang Jianxin became a clay sculpture wooden person and remained silent throughout the process. Tang Qianxian was just an assistant, so it wasn't her turn to speak. Even if the mistaken kill project is approved, there are no flowers, no applause, and no media reporters reporting. The entire crew, including Huang Jianxin who is not in charge, only has four people and still needs to gather manpower. However, what surprised Zhang Hao was that his directorial authority was not as great as usual, and he did not receive the same treatment as a novice director. And his proposal to convert the director's remuneration into investment was actually approved, as stated in his director contract. With an investment of 15 million yuan, his film remuneration was only 150,000 yuan, accounting for 1% of the investment share. The remuneration has been included in the investment quota, and it seems that Tang Qianxian's salary will be delayed. However, Zhang Hao learned from Tang Qianxian that her personnel relationship is still maintained at Bona Film, so she still has a salary. It seems that Yu Dong is also a good person. If Zhang Hao's first project goes wrong, wouldn't that be a trap for the little girl? End of this chapter Chapter 10 Setting the Lead Actor, Seeking Recommendation, Seeking Collection you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Setting the lead actor, seeking recommendation, seeking collection, Lao Guo, are you busy now? What are you busy with? I'm idle at home, taking care of the children. Guo Tao played with his son's toys, dealing with the agent on the phone. Guo Tao started his career very early and entered the entertainment industry in 1991 by starring in his first film, The Three Brothers of Sorrow and Joy. However, it was not until Ning Hao's Crazy Stone that he finally made a name for himself. However, after that, although Guo Tao's career made some progress, it was not much. After all, in the current environment of the film circle, there are few opportunities to really turn to mainland actors. There are many monks and porridge, and the competition pressure is also great. After Crazy Stone, he only appeared in two movies, Fallen Leaves Returning to Roots and Wedding 2008, 
one with Uncle Ben Shan and the other with Tao Hong, and then he became idle. Ha, ah, I know you're not busy. I have a project here, do you want to take it on, the agent asked with a smile. I'll take on everything now, as long as it's not a third-level film, Wu Tao said. Don't worry, let me talk about this project first. The agent explained, this project is invested by China Film and Bona, and can be considered a small to medium cost movie called, Mistaken Kill. It is a suspense genre movie. The projects of China Film and Bona. Sure, big companies, guaranteed. Guo Tao was tempted. It's a big company, but the director is very young, only 22 years old. I'm afraid it's some young man who plays with tickets. Why don't you consider it? Guo Tao was surprised and said, a 22.year.old director. Is it really fake? Really, it has been widely circulated in the industry. The director's name is Zhang Hao, and I heard that there is a good relationship between my family and San Yi. My family used to work at the Beijing Film Studio, but this time I became a director through San Ye's relationship. The agent explained. Um. Guo Tao had some doubts, but as soon as he thought about how long it had been and how many projects had come to him, he gritted his teeth and said, Do you have a script? I'll take a look at it and make a decision. Yes, I'll send it to you. The agent sent the script to Li Guo Tao via email. After reading the script, Guo Tao hesitated for a long time. It was a good script, and he still had the ability to distinguish it. But a good script doesn't necessarily mean that a director can make a good movie. This director named Zhang Hao is also too young, which makes people feel uneasy. Compared to Guo Tao's hesitation, Yu Feihong immediately agreed. Yu Feihong made his debut very early. He participated in his first film, Bamboo, in 1979 and was considered a child star. After that, his career as an actor was smooth, until he became a stunning actress in Little Li Flying Dagger. Afterwards, he worked continuously and even directed and starred in a movie called Love Has an Afterlife. After reading the script of Mistaken Kill, Yu Feihong did not hesitate and accepted the invitation. The female lead has been chosen, but Guo Tao is still hesitating. After learning about the situation, Zhang Hao and Lu Hao said, Tell Guo Tao's agent that if we don't reply before next Monday, we will switch people. Lu Hao nodded and went to communicate with Guo Tao's agent. Other movie roles were also set one after another, and what surprised Zhang Hao the most was that Su Qing attended a reception at Bona and heard Zhang Hao and Yu Dong discussing the preparation for Ms. Kill. He immediately became interested and volunteered to play the role of Lai Yun. Without Chin Chong, it's okay to have Su Qing, but Zhang Hao didn't refuse. The role of Dupeng was given to Jiang Wu, but he was not picky and didn't mind Zhang Hao's young age. He went straight ahead. After some additions, the remaining few characters each have suitable candidates to play. This year, when there are movies, it's good to have money, but who cares if the director is a jerk? Besides, just use the money to make the film. Losing money on the movie is something that investors should worry about. With such thoughts in mind, the scene where Zhang Hao had anticipated the actors refusing one after another did not appear, and everyone had almost no consideration before agreeing. Apart from Guo Tao hesitating for a moment, he also took on this project before the deadline, and the entire actor selection stage for Mistaken Kill is considered to be over. From mid-October to the end of November, the preliminary preparations for Mistaken Kill came to an end. Afterwards, Zhang Hao gathered the lead actors in a conference room prepared for him by China Film, and for the first time elaborated on his script, story concept, and overall shooting plan. We completed the entire filming process in Thailand this time, and I hope everyone can cooperate well, shoot seriously, and return safely. I wish our film a success, said Zhang Hao, calling on the crew for the last time. Because of his youth, although everyone may not say much on the surface, there is still some contempt in their hearts, especially for the deputy director Chui Lihue, who is most dissatisfied with Zhang Hao. Chui Lihue has been in the industry for more than 10 years, 
and this year he is also 30.7 or 8 years old. He has been working as an assistant to others, but seeing Zhang Hao become a director at a young age instantly made his heart unbalanced. Chui Lihue believes that Zhang Hao became a director because of his family background. So Chui Lihue had a careful mind and repeatedly opposed Zhang Hao in his work. For example, in the selection of the female lead, Zhang Hao had already chosen Yu Feihong, but Chui Lihue believed that Zheng Li was more suitable, so he talked back to Zhang Hao at the project preparation meeting. I think Zheng Li is more suitable, and it would be better to choose Zheng Li as the female lead. Chui Lihue widened his eyes and stood up, attempting to use his high position advantage to oppress Zhang Hao sitting in the chair. Zhang Hao looked at Lu Hao and saw that he had not expressed his opinion. He smiled slightly and said, however, the production team has already arranged for Yu Feihong, and he has also agreed to sign the actor contract. If we change roles temporarily, we will breach the contract. I was thinking for the sake of the production team, and I think that if Zheng Li plays the female lead, the probability of the movie's success will be higher. We can offer a penalty for breach of contract, as there is an investment of 15 million yuan. Speaking of this 15 million yuan investment, Chui Lihue's teeth were about to bite. How could Zhang Hao, he de, actually direct a movie for the first time, with a production investment of 15 million yuan? He is envious, jealous, and resentful. I want you to be clear. Firstly, the 15 million investment is for filming a movie, not for paying a penalty. Secondly, the selection of the female lead has been determined, which is my responsibility as a director. And you just need to do your own job, don't worry about anything else, Deputy Director Chui The final Deputy Director Chui, Zhang Hao, emphasized his tone this is to remind Chui Lihue of his current position. The implication is that this is Laozi's crew. Laozi's business, you just need to do your own thing well, and mind your own business. Chui Lihue, who was able to secure the position of assistant director, is not a fool and naturally understands Zhang Hao's off-screen voice. Although he disagrees with Zhang Hao, the director is the director and has absolute authority without interference from the production team. Judging from the situation of producer Lu Hao, I'm afraid he won't go against Zhang Hao either. Afterwards, Chui Lihue repeatedly went against Zhang Hao, claiming that it was for the good of the production team and to seize the title of righteousness. The key is that the ideas he put forward are very insightful, indicating that he is indeed very experienced, making it difficult for Zhang Hao to grasp his pain points and can only endure him. However, Zhang Hao is not a fuel-efficient lamp either. No matter how well Chui Lihue makes it, Zhang Hao insists on it. I am the director, and I am responsible for everything on the set. If there are any problems, it is also my responsibility. But if someone deliberately causes trouble, I have a responsibility, and the troublemaker should not try to run away. As I mentioned before, if we fail, we can go back and inherit the family property, but the person in the infighting will definitely not survive. Not to mention anything else, neither China Film nor Bona can spare that person. So in the face of questioning and contempt, and in the face of someone like Chui Lihue who dares to step out and sing a different tune, Zhang Hao is very calm. He's not here to fight or argue, he's here to work and complete the movie shooting task. With a work contract, Zhang Hao effectively constrained the crew members, and although there were some setbacks, he successfully completed the construction of the crew. In early December, the first snowfall fell in the capital, and Zhang Hao and Lu Hao, along with the crew of Mistaken Kill, had already set off for Thailand. End of this chapter